The Poco series is a sub-brand of Xiaomi and the Poco F1 is the first smartphone that comes with a Snapdragon 845, 8GB of RAM running a MIUI 9 based on Android Oreo. When it was launched, the company promised to deliver the two major Android updates for their users. Seems like they're enforcing their promises. After thoroughly testing Android Pie update based on MIUI 10, Xiaomi finally are rolling out a global stable ROM of MIUI 10 based on Android Pie to all of the users. So what's new with this update? And this is a quick look of Poco F1 running on Android Pie based on MIUI 10. So let's get started. Alright, the build size of this update is around a 1.7 gigs in size, which was first seen on Reddit. So anyway, so let's jump into the settings and we'll show you the build number and ID. So it is an MEUI Global 10.1 with a build ID at 10.1.3.0. And if I tap on this Android version, you will see an Android Pie Easter egg. So this update is much anticipated by Poco of One users. Ever since when they have released a global beta based on Android Pie, finally after thoroughly testing, they managed to roll out the stable update. This update brings new features on board. The first and foremost after installing this update, I have noticed the transitions and animations are so smooth. Especially if you have turned on the system gestures, you may notice that animations are damn smooth compared to Oreo. With the gestures enabled, a swiping up from the bottom takes you to the home screen and swiping a left or right takes you one step back and swiping a left or right by holding for a second lets you quickly jump to the previous application. I have noticed that swipe up gesture from bottom is damn amazing and it's so smooth which reminds me the iOS gestures. The multitasking is also smooth and fast. And I have noticed there is a glitch inside multitasking. If I tap on the empty space, the launcher itself seems to be a stuttering and takes a second to reload. Sadly, in this update, Xiaomi has removed the option called Hide Notch. For those notch haters, you don't have any option to hide it. You cannot even hide the notch even from the developer settings. This is a kinda hectic to see. Also, inside the camera, you may notice that Xiaomi has integrated a Google Lens feature. This lets you identify the things, thanks to the AI cameras and Poco of One. The Google Lens is an AI-powered technology that uses your smartphone camera and machine learning algorithms to not only detect an object, but understand what it detects and offers you quick actions based on what it sees. Also, the 960 FPS, the slow motion video recording, is also not included in this update. Overall, I can say this update brings support for Android Pie, the Google Lens integration built into the stock camera, the bug fixes, and more. While watching YouTube videos, now you can even stretch the video all the way below to the notch. This wasn't possible in Android Oreo with MIUI 10. This kinda immersive video experience on your Poco of One with notch looks stunning. So the bottom line is that this is a major update ever since for Poco of One and it brings a good performance and better battery life. So I run a couple of benchmarking applications like the Geekbench and then Tutu and these are the scores which I got on my phone. Finally, this update is just started rolling out to all of the users. It could take a while and will reach you soon if you haven't yet got it. But if you can't wait further, just go ahead and download the recovery ROM from the link below and copy that ROM inside downloaded ROM folder. Then head over to settings, system updater, check for the updates first, make sure if you have found any updates, install it. Then click on this three dot menu from the top right, choose update package option, then look for the recovery ROM and install it. So if in case you got any issues or errors, so make sure you're running the MIUI 10 global stable. And that's it and this is a quick look of Poco of One running Android Pie. Let me know about your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. This has been KSK Ryle. Bye bye now.